Jackson. I am the co-chair of the Breck Forum. I am the co-chair of the Breck Forum. And that's one of the hats I wear. And that's one of the hats I wear. And my comrade Rick Wolf is also on the board of the Breck Forum. And my comrade Rick Wolf is also on the board of the Breck Forum. The Breck Forum, if you haven't situation, a different classroom. To say it briefly, to say it briefly, this is the best classroom I could imagine. This is the best classroom I could imagine. And the reason is simple. And the reason is simple. Because I'm teaching people ready to act on what they learn. Because I'm teaching people ready to act on what they learn. What they learn. And who are not afraid to take new directions in a country that desperately needs it. And who are not afraid to take new directions in a country that desperately needs it. Earlier today, Earlier today, the head of the Federal Reserve, the head of the Federal Reserve, Ben Bernanke, Ben Bernanke, referred to the American economy, referred to the American economy as experiencing a sluggish recovery. As experiencing a sluggish recovery. He lives on a different planet. He lives on a different planet. There has been no recovery. There has been no recovery. For 99% of the American people. For 99% of the American people. The people you are leading in a new direction. The people you are leading in a new direction. I know that the idea of leading is scary. I know that the idea of leading is scary. And you may not want to. And you may not want to. But you're doing it anyway. But you're doing it anyway. And most of America is applauding you. Applauding you. Please remember with me. Please remember with me. Every day that you persevere, every day that you persevere, you make it easier, you make it easier for people across this country, for people across this country who used to feel alone, who used to feel alone when they watched an economic system fall apart, 
when they watched an economic system fall apart. They thought they didn't have anyone else who shared what they felt. Making it possible for them to you feel are making it possible for them to feel stronger, not alone, and that is changing this country. To feel stronger, not alone, and that is changing this country. So and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Teachers like me across the nation. Teachers like me across the nation are deeply grateful for what you are doing here. Are deeply grateful for what you are doing here. In all humility, in all humility, let me plead with you about one important issue. Let me plead with you about one important issue. There is a reality that is behind the concerns we all have. There is a reality behind the concerns we all have. I mean the concern about the grotesque inequality that exists in this country. I mean, I mean the about the grotesque inequality that exists in this country. I mean the attack on the natural environment we all depend on. I mean the attack on the natural environment we all depend on. And I mean the fundamental corruption of our political system. And I mean the fundamental corruption of our political system. The most important for me issue. The most important for me issue is that you and we have the courage. Is that you and we have the courage to name and change the reality behind all of that. To name and change the reality behind all that. And by that, I hope it comes as no surprise. And by that, I hope it comes as no surprise. It is the economic system called capitalism. It is the economic system called capitalism. And let me explain what I mean. And let me explain what I mean. I mean the way we organize the production of the goods and services we all depend on. I mean the way we organize the production of the goods and services we all depend on. The way we do it now has failed and broken down. The way we do it now we have a system in which a tiny group of people we have a system in which a tiny group of people and they have names and they have names they're the major shareholders of all our corporations they're the major shareholders of all our corporations they're the boards of directors of the same corporation they're the boards of directors of the same corporations they make all the key decisions they make all the key decisions. What to produce. What to produce. How to produce it. How to produce it. What to do with the products that come out. What to do with the products that come out. And how to dispose of the profits all of our labor creates. And how to dispose of the profits all of our labor creates. And we know what they do with it. And we know what they do with it. They give themselves obscene bonuses and salaries. They give themselves obscene bonuses and salaries. They move the jobs of Americans out of this country in order to make more money by exploiting workers abroad. They move the jobs out of this country in order to make more money by exploiting the workers abroad. Sorry. They use their profits to buy the political system. They use their profits to buy the political system. That's why America, That's why America has the best democracy money can buy. Has the best democracy money can buy. If we don't want, if we don't want 
economic inequality. Economic inequality. A destroyed natural environment. A destroyed natural environment. A corrupt politics. A corrupt politics. We cannot let our industries be organized this way. We cannot let our industries be organized this way. Imagine a new program. Imagine a new program. Imagine it was called Democracy at Work. Imagine it was called Democracy at Work. Here's what it means. Here's what it means. The workers who go to work every day. The workers who go to work every day. Accompanied by rhythm. Accompanied by rhythm. They ought to be the ones. They ought to be the ones. Who make the decisions. Who make the decisions. What to produce. What to produce. How to produce. How to produce. And what to do with the profits. And what to do with the profits. Then we would have. Then we would have nothing like the inequality we have today. Nothing like the inequality we have today. No jobs going out of the country and into people's lives. No jobs going out of the country. And the money would make politics serve us. And the money would make politics serve us. Not the rich who are the shareholders. Not the rich who are the shareholders. And the boards of directors. And the boards of directors. We could call this cooperation. We could call this cooperation. We could call it a co-op. We could call it a co-op. We could call it a democratic political and economic system. We could call it a democratic political and economic system. And when our enemies use words like socialism and communism, we should Our answer is. Our answer is. It's over. It's over. You can't shut us up. You can't shut us up. With language. With language. Whose intent. Whose intent is to keep a broken system going. Is to keep a broken system going. For many years. For many years. Americans have debated. Americans have debated the education system. The education system. The health system. The health system. The transportation system. The transportation system. We debated. We criticized them. We debated. We criticized them. That's how we make them better. That's how we make them better. That's how we change them. That's how we change them. Why in the world? Why in the world was one institution? Was one institution taboo? Taboo. You couldn't question it. Couldn't question you it. You couldn't criticize it. Couldn't criticize it. That's a legacy of the Cold War. That's a legacy of the Cold War. Capitalism was taboo. Capitalism was taboo. All you could do was celebrate it. And cheerlead it. All you can do is celebrate it and cheerlead it. If you want to remember what that's like, if you want to remember what that's like, just listen to any debate in the United States Congress any day. Just listen to any debate in the United States Congress any day. Capitalism hid behind the taboo of an honest debate. Capitalism hid behind the taboo. That's why it degenerated into the unequal, and unjust system. It imposes on us today. You are the movement that can, and that I hope will, break that. Taboo. Break that taboo. Have the courage. Have the courage to subject the capitalist system. To subject the capitalist system to the same honest criticism. To the same honest criticism. And honest debate. And honest debate. 
that should have been going on for the last 50 years. For the last 50 years. Here's an idea to think about. Here's an idea to think about. The United States can do better than capitalism. The United States can do better than capitalism. At a time, at a time in this country, at a time in this country. where every day thousands of Americans Experience in their own lives, in their own lives. That, capitalism that capitalism doesn't work for them. The idea that we could do better than capitalism has a mass audience. Has a mass audience. You can gather and mobilize that audience. You can gather and the United States will be in the debt of this movement for generations to come. For generations to come! Last point for me. Last point for me. The idea of going beyond capitalism. The idea of going beyond capitalism. Of beginning to believe that working people and the people of communities. Beginning to believe that working people and the people of communities have the capacity. Have the capacity to organize and produce the goods and services. To organize and produce the goods and services is a matter of growing up. Is a matter of growing up. Don't imagine, Don't imagine that a handful of people, handful of people have, some special competence have some special competence to organize the economic system. To organize the economic system. If they did, if they did this, country this country wouldn't be in the mess it's in. Once upon, a time, Once upon a time, we were told, we were told that, only a king, that only a king or a czar or, a czar, or, an, emperor, or an emperor had the competence, had the competence to, govern us politically. to govern us politically. We eventually, we eventually cut off their heads. Cut off their heads. <laughs> I, I am not advocating anything like that. Anything like that. Far be it from me. Far be it from me. But if democracy is a good idea instead of monarchy, but if democracy is a good idea instead of monarchy, then democratizing our workplaces is a lot better. Than the, the autocracy and the aristocracy, and the aristocracy governing our economic well-being. Well if what we do most of our adult lives, if what we do most of our adult lives, is go to work, is go to work five days a week, five days a week. Most of the hours of the day. Then the most important place. Then the most important place to express our commitment to democracy. To express our commitment to democracy is in the workplace. Is in the workplace. And if not there, and if not there, we can't be surprised. We can't be surprised if it's not real anywhere else. If it's not real anywhere else. We have a phony political democracy. We have a phony political democracy. Because we don't have a real economic democracy. Because we don't have a real economic democracy. That's what has to change. That's what has to change. And those of us who